There's two things on the property that I really want painted. One is Panda, but this is what we're going to hit today is the shipping container. What was it? I don't know, but I sprayed it with vinegar and it's taking the yellow paint off. Is it? But it's not taking all of the... Oh, there was like some kind of dunk. I think it looks like oil or something. Yeah, it's something petroleum based. Yeah. <laughs> so we're getting this cleaned off. I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to spray over it and get a coat on it. I decided to use the Wagner spray painter. Got the paint right here, going with the gray and the power to run it. Oh my God, so far this thing is awesome. We painted the inside of the door with rollers and by hand, and it took a while. So even. This is going by really quickly, and it's very smooth looking. Yeah, it is even, isn't it? Just have to get a ladder so I can reach the top up there. Well, I just have a little bit more to spray on this back end here. Well, I've got this whole bottom down below that, but we are done with this side. We're trying to do just one coat and it seems to be working out pretty good. We just had to touch up a few spots. But yeah, that looks awesome, amazing. I did like the yellow, it's very rustic, but this is definitely more uniformed and clean looking. Oh my God, we're almost done. Just have this little bit here and strip down here. Yay, it's done. I got this side, that was difficult. We probably should have painted before building this here, but you know, it is what it is. Jimmy is now just touching up little spots that we see that we've missed. So 
just getting that and it looks amazing. So much better, so much cleaner. Yay! Rainwater collection off of this. And we're also going to do rainwater collection off the shipping container. But I still have to get a bigger water container. Now that this looks amazing and is done. Hi Jeff. Jimmy gave us this um, wind sail here, or sorry, sun sail to put over this. I think this makes it look more roomy. And then we also put a door in here. So yeah, I definitely like this much better. Put a mirror here, change the grab bar here and there. And the towel rack is now right there. Yeah, I definitely think it looks more cozy in here. And there's still sunlight coming through up in here. I think we picked the windiest day to work on this project. <laughs> We've got a bunch of old pallets from Flagstaff and we're gonna build a little shed. It's a utility shed for our washing clothes. It's where the washing machine's gonna go and a utility sink. Just like the wood cover is made out of, well, the sides are anyways, the old pallets that we've burnt. So it preserves the wood. This is where we keep all our firewood. Yep, that's what we're gonna do with this. But this one's going to be a little more intricate. I am going to put plywood on the outside, but we're basically using the old pallets for a framing system. Like I said, we picked the worst day to, well, I picked the worst day to start this because it is very windy today. But we've gotten all this together and it actually holds still, but we put this just in case, this bar here for now. But no, even though it did, it, it, it doesn't like go anywhere. I've got a bunch of screws in it. We're having to cut these right here so that we can stack the pallets and screw them together. Just like we did on this side, this fit much better. Since we already have a stable structure back here that's been cemented in the posts anyways, we're connecting it to this structure. That way it'll give this structure some support. Okay, we're getting the last piece in right here for this wall. Uh, we've got, and then we'll put the piece of wood that goes across here, just like over there. All right, well, the structure is up. All we need is the cladding, which is gonna be just plywood. I'm gonna put a piece of plywood here, two there, and another one on the other side. So that will be the walls. And I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with the roof yet. Not sure, so I'll have to think about that. But I do know I think I'm gonna put two more two by fours there that are pressure treated. But yeah, it's coming along quite nicely. This is where the washing machine's gonna go or somewhere in here. And then also a utility sink. There's actually a lot of room in here. Right, Momo? A lot of room. <laughs> It's a nice sunny day, but it is a bit windy today. Um, I wanted to finish this utility room, but we're just gonna wait and see if the wind dies down. We did go to the hardware store and pick up some plywood to cover the outside. We're gonna go ahead and get this unloaded and then go meet our friends for lunch.
Okie dokie, well we're loaded up and we're gonna head into Williams and meet them. We got Jen with us. Hey Jen. Hey. <laughs> and of course the stinky uh, Kellogg. <laughs> Always had to be sitting on somebody's lap. <laughs> You're worse than Moo Moo. Uh, far, far. So we made it to Pine Country and we're sitting at a table over here. They're too good back there for us, and so they're sitting at a different table. Coffee. Coffee. It'll be timed, right? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Look at them back there with their sugar rolls, thinking they're all that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you wish you could have some. Oh, yeah. I know, no sugar for me. <laughs> I'm vetoing the sugar. Since when? <laughs> Stevia now. Since um, yesterday afternoon. No. Since yesterday? It's been like two weeks. Don't you think Halloween is a terrible time to give up sugar? Uh, well, I got my Stevia kit. Or the perfect time. Uh, yeah. uh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, unless you want to rot out. What are you hiding behind your cup for? Yeah. Oh, no, the french fries are really good. The french fries do look amazing. I saw theirs over there. Here. So I ended up getting a salad. <laughs> oh no, bad influence. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We got salad and a club sandwich. What'd you get? Where you get the special? Tuna, tuna milk. Nice. What'd you get, Jeff? Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks pot good. Roast. Pot roast sandwich. Looks like pulled pork a little bit. Yeah. We made it into Flagstaff and some businesses, if you check the local Craigslist, are giving away free pallets. So we're picking up some more pallets. There's actually some really good ones. This one's awesome and it's long. I can use that as a deck. Oh, hello, Mr. Skeleton. We've got the walls up. Now we're burning the inside. And then the last thing is the ceiling. It's like a jet engine going on me. We decided not to burn it before we put it on because we put this piece on and we burnt it first and it was so hard to get on because it was a little warped and it kind of set the wood. So if you don't burn it and you put it on, it, it's a little more pliable and flexible, especially since it rained last night and the wood got wet, so. Yes, <laughs> if your wood got wet, don't burn it first, put it on first. is coming to an end but we finally got the utility room finished and I think it turned out wonderful look at this it's definitely very rustic looking when you burn the wood put the washing machine in here the battery and still gonna put a utility sink here could even fit two utility sinks not that we need two utility sinks but I'm not sure what else can go here I did put a platform in here for now just to get that off of the ground but yeah, it looks good. Oh, and the one good thing about using pallets is you have built-in shelves <laughs> that you can put things in. Even store this pan here. Awesome. Loving it. But yeah, this is the finished product. We still have one more thing to do. I want to put the corrugated roof, like what's on the side here, on top. And we're going to catch water off of here. And it's going to come back down and into two rain barrels that are gonna go here to feed the actual washing machine. So all the water for this hopefully will be rainwater, just like we do with the showers. <laughs> 